And then, Bajaki, as you mentioned, five goals in his last six and a player you know very well from your time at Plymouth. Yeah, you asked me about him and it's difficult to describe because he's so talented. His, his balance is brilliant, right or left foot, it doesn't matter which. And I used to enjoy doing shooting sessions in Plymouth because all you've got to do is flick it up and sometimes the lads would clap his finish where he can strike through a ball. And, and with, so, with so natural, such natural talent and ability, so, you know, anything can happen when he's around the ball and these lot love him because they, they used to like he wears the number 10 shirt and you've got to be a special player to do that away by Hobbs but only as far as Paul Ann Jackie under pressure held it up beautifully Routledge takes it on Ramage will turn it back in Stewart has remained forward incidentally and Gorks the other centre back and a pretty wild effort in the end by Akos Jackie. Bozaki is uh, more than capable of scoring from distance. We've seen that already this season, but maybe he should have taken that with his right foot. He's taken it with his left foot, but his body shape all wrong, and it's uh, it's well wider than goal. He has, in fact, scored in his last three games for Jim Majilton's team. He was a doubt for this game. Bozaki picked up an ankle injury in training and uh, had to have a fitness test at lunchtime today. Oakley, King, uh, Wellens, rather, given away this time. Tarat. Lovely ball forward. And then what a layoff by Bujaki to find Ramage. Strange header there from Forlan, but uh, they've kept possession. Bujaki. Good challenge from Oakley. And it opens up for the shot. In the end, he was crowded out. Bujaki doing well to prevent the corner. So his shirt was being held, I think he's complaining to the referee about that as Bujaki prevents the corner. Here's some thinking about the long throw, goes short again though. Bujaki clears. Thinking on Howard and DJ Campbell. Good layoff to that. Bujaki long. Just a little bit too long in the end for Jay Simpson. Well, the referee's brought them back. So a little foul in there. The referee's done brilliantly tonight, and I really think he has. He's tried to let this game flow as, as much as he can, and there, there was a foul, but he just let the game go and then called it back when he realised that uh, QPR weren't going to get the advantage. Simpson. Gorks finds Legion Wood. Simpson. Bujaki! That was close. Well, Rangers in the first really decent spell of possession they, that they've had, and Bujaki is a quality player. He can score from distance, and out of absolutely nothing, he conjures a shot there, and that is a whisk away. We see here from behind. It's a, a wonderful effort. He knows what he wants to do straight away and releases a shot and very nearly catches uh, Chris Wheel flat footed. Scored in each of his last three games, five goals in his last six. Try it. Lost out to Fallout. Great skill again from Adel Tarat. Jackie! There we see again the, the threat from QPR. They're, they're not done in this game by a, a long chalk. Tarat and Bazaki, they're two most talented players. And just to open it up slightly, it's a shot from distance. Once again, we've seen plenty of those uh, shots from that kind of distance tonight, but it's, it's never going to pick the goalkeeper from there. Bazaki. Never skill, but again, he's run into trouble. Well, Jackie, crowd urging him to shoot. He had other ideas. It's Routledge. It's a very good save by Chris Wheel. Danger hasn't gone yet, though. And again, Wheel equal to it, a Simpson shot. Two fabulous pieces of goalkeeping. Watch the step over here from Jay Simpson. Just leaves the ball, lets Routledge get in behind Brown. Brilliant goalkeeping. Not once, but twice. He's up and on his feet. He's ready for the second ball that comes in, and he deals with that really well as well as it's fired in at him. Looks like he's picked up a, a possible knock as well, but Chris Will, not a lot to do. Routledge takes on, but fails to beat Wellens. The referee said play on. Vine edge of the box, Simpson in the middle. He's bypassed those two to pick out Bujaki, who couldn't pick the back of the net. Would you believe it? The one player the Rangers will want to have a chance like that is uh, 
Akos Buzaki. There's a bit of a wrestling match going on there. The linesman flags, but the, uh, the referee does well again, plays advantage. Rallies gets in far too easily. Picks out Buzaki, and that, that's for a player of that quality. That is absolutely horrendous. A good pullback from the touchline does well, Rallies, but really, Buzaki's got to hit the target from there. Leeger Wood pumps it long for Simpson. Vine went for it. That's a free kick. This could be Queen's Park Rangers' last chance saloon. If they can't score from this, they won't score. And the five minutes of injury time just ticking round there, and this is its last chance. It really is last chance saloon. The ball will go down. I'm not sure who they fancy to take this. Buzaki, you would fancy more than anybody else, but it's, uh, it's really got to be spot on. They need a bit of quality here. They've not had it throughout this second half. This is where they need to make it count. Paulan on the left foot, Buzaki on the right is the choice facing Rangers here. Chris Wheel has lined up the wall, but he could see this late with so many players in front of him. It's Bujaki who hits it straight at the wall. The referee looks at his watch, and there goes the whistle. What a week for Nigel Pearson and Leicester City.